is now back. Hey, Ryan, do you know where the word spud comes from? No idea, but I have a feeling you're going to tell me. Wow, the word spud comes from a type of spade that the Irish people use for digging potatoes. Interesting. Let's go see some spuds get dug up. Potatoes take about three to four months to mature, and as they're growing, they go through some big changes. We're here with Andy Dirks, who's going to tell us how potatoes are grown. So Andy, what can you tell us? Well, potatoes grow in stages. About two weeks after they're planted, they'll start to break the surface with their sprout. Another seven to ten days after that, they'll be probably six inches tall. And remember those seed potatoes Tom talked about? Let's see what we have under here now. You can see with potatoes, the tubers, the part that we eat, actually grows underground. But if the tubers grow underground and you can't see them, how do you know when they're ready? Well, potatoes flower in the middle of summer. Once those flowers fall off, the vines will start to die down like you see here. And that's when we know they're getting ready to be harvested. So what makes a good potato? Starts with healthy soil, irrigation, sunlight, and then a good crop rotation to break up pests and disease cycles. What's crop rotation? Crop rotation is when we, we use, plant different crops each year. We'll plant maybe potatoes, then field corn, soybeans, and then back to potatoes. Breaks up the disease cycle, keeps the soil structure really healthy because we alternate between deep-rooted crops and shallow-rooted crops. Cool. So farmers are really careful about the way they plant all these potatoes, aren't they? Very careful. It's important that we keep the soil healthy and keep the land healthy for our generation and for future generations. It's critical. Thanks for showing us all this, Andy. You bet. Did you know that potatoes are grown all over Wisconsin? We're the third largest producer in the U.S. That's awesome! Potatoes are grown in the central sands of Wisconsin, which is the middle part of the state. Counties that grow the most potatoes include Portage, Langlade, Washera, and Adams County. When it comes to potatoes, Wisconsin is a mashing success. Now let's get back to the farm. So Andy, what exactly can you tell us about the harvest? Well, it's a ballet of machinery, a very noisy one. The machine in the front, the windrower, loosens the potatoes from the ground, sets them down in front of the harvester. The harvester picks them up, runs them on a conveyor into the transport truck. So where do they go once they're on the transport truck? The truck takes them up to the farm or they'll either go into the packing shed. We'll put them into packages to go to restaurants or grocery stores or else they'll go into storage to get distributed later in the winter. Cool, can we see that? You bet, let's go. Late August and early September is the time when most potatoes 